Singapore is taking what it describes as extraordinary but necessary steps to secure its energy supply in the face of global disruptions. They include setting up standby fuel facilities for power generation companies. The Energy Market Authority has informed the companies to contract sufficient fuel to meet the demands of their retail customers. Those looking to sell excess gas supply will be redirected to provide it to other power generation companies and the authority before they can sell to other parties. EMA will also direct the companies to generate electricity with fuel from the standby facilities if needed. The move by EMA to encourage um, Genkos to sell excess capacity to other companies within the market before perhaps uh, selling them to speculators, commodity speculators. This will help ensure that the prices are then returned closer to the fundamental market conditions. And by this, I mean that there's less room for financial speculation to be causing price movements. And so this, again, should work in favor of having at least the price right. It doesn't guarantee a low price. It just guarantees that the price is driven by what really matters, uh, the supply and demand conditions. The authority says it will review if the measures are still needed by the end of March next year. Volatile market conditions have already caused at least two retailers, Ohm Energy and iSwitch, to leave the open electricity market in the past week. A third, Union Power, has also closed some 850 retail accounts. If we see more change in the number of participants in various parts of the industry, then it's no longer an issue of are we facing a negative impact on our bank account for a while? It's more a matter of how could we possibly recover to where we were before if the company that was providing you know, a large share of the services within the market has suddenly disappeared. And that's the new risk that we're facing now.